Further on Flash CS3. Further on Flash CS3. Adobe Flash is a multimedia software that allows the users to create desktop applications, mobile applications, games, animations, and various other facilities. Flash documents have the file extension .fla. Features of Adobe Flash CS3 It enables the users to create interactive movies or animations. It uses vector graphics that can be scaled to any size without losing clarity or quality. Videos and audios can also be embedded. It is extremely well suited for content over the internet since its files are very small. Flash does not require programming skills and is easy to learn. It includes many features that make it powerful and easy to use. For example, pre-built drag-drop user interface, components and special effects that you add to your media elements. Starting with Flash CS3. Follow these steps to start Flash CS3. Select Start, then go to Adobe Master Collection CS. Now select Adobe Flash Professional CS3. Creating Flash Document. To open new Flash document, first select File and then New. The new document dialog box appears. Select the type of flash file like Action Script 3.0 and click on OK button. New flash file will open in Adobe Flash. As you open Flash, it opens a blank document which comprises of six major headings. The stage. The stage which is white by default is the middle area where we work on our flash contents. It will display the default size of our flash animation. The default stage size is 550 by 400 pixels. Timeline. The timeline organizes and controls a document's content over time in layers and frames. Like films, flash documents divide lengths of time into frames. Layers are like multiple film strips stacked on top of one another, each containing a different image that appears on the stage. The major components of the timeline are layers, frames and the playhead. Layers. Layers help us organize the artwork in our document. We can draw and edit objects on one layer without affecting objects on another layer. Active layer has a pencil icon on it. Double click on a layer name to rename it. The Properties panel. The Properties panel, also known as Property Inspector, displays various properties of the selected object like image, shape, text, etc. It can be used to set stage size background color of the stage and frame rate. A frame rate affects the motion of the movie that is slow, medium or fast motion. Workspace. It is used to create our animation. Frames. Flash documents divide lengths of time into frames. A film's duration or length depends on number of frames. These components have their own functionality that unites and provides unique results. Tools panel. The tools panel in Flash displays the tools used to create or modify drawings and text. Some tools have a triangle at the bottom right corner. On clicking the triangle, a pop-up menu appears with more tools. As you select a tool, Tool modifiers appear at the bottom of the tool panel. These are used to set tools options. The Properties Inspector displays the properties of the selected object. The tools for planning 
are kept in the tools bar usually positioned at the left of your flash screen. Setting Document Properties When we create a new document in Flash, it opens the default settings of the movie properties. You can change the default settings of your document. To do this, click on Modify tab and select Document option from the menu. Document Properties dialog box appears. Set the properties of the document and click OK to apply. Drawing an object. You can draw different objects in Flash. For example, to draw a rectangular box, select Rectangle tool from the tool panel. Mouse pointer changes into cross pointer. Now click and drag the mouse pointer to draw a rectangle. To draw an object using pencil tool, click on pencil tool and choose the smooth mode. Mouse pointer changes into pencil pointer. Click and drag the mouse pointer on stage to draw. Outline and fill. When you draw something with a pencil or a line tool, it is called a stroke. On the other hand, when we give colors to the shapes like circle, rectangle or square, it is termed as fill. To outline an object, Click the selection tool and move to the rectangle. Now select the pencil tool and choose the smooth mode. From the stroke color box in the toolbar, select a new color. Here we have chosen red. Now from the fill color, select green. Then select the paint bucket and click inside the rectangle. It gets filled with the color green. Gradient. Creating different colors by mixing one or two colors is termed as gradient. Flash offers you default gradient colors. These appear at the bottom of the color palette. To apply gradient, click on the paint bucket tool. From the color palette, select a gradient color. Now click inside a shape. Creating new gradients. To create a new gradient, First, go to Window and then select Color. The Color panel appears. Now, click the arrow on the Type box. A drop-down menu appears with options like Linear and Radial Gradient. To make changes, click on the Color Marker. A Color Palette appears. To adjust the gradient, you can shift the Color Marker left or right on the Gradient bar. If you want to remove a color marker, drag it off the bar. Linear Gradient It creates a gradient that shades in a straight line. Radial Gradient It creates a gradient that shades in a circular line. Importing Graphics While working on Flash CS3, you will need to import various assets to your file such as logo, symbol, video, images, graphics, etc. The library stores all the required assets and you only need to follow these steps. Select File menu. Go to Import option and then select Import to Library option to import an image into the current document. A dialog box appears that allows you to browse your files and import them to the current location. Next, click on Open button. If you want to import a bitmap into Flash, then go to File menu, select the Import option and then Import to Stage option. Import dialog box will open. Then select the image you want to import and click Open. It will get added to the current file. Animation When a series of still images are displayed in a rapid sequence, it is termed as animation. In Flash, you can insert animation by changing the contents of successive frames. The cartoon film which you see on your television is an example of animation. Animation plays a vital role in a multimedia program. There are two ways of animation in Flash. 
streamed animation, only starting and ending keyframes are created to animate an object. Frame by frame animation. When the still pictures are simulated in a sequence of movement, it is called animation. The individual pictures take a continuous motion and then break into frames. Frame by frame animation is similar to flipbook or flickbook animation. In a flipbook, you create a character on the first page of the book. From second page onwards, you change the position, shape or colour of the character on each page. Finally, you flip pages and the character animates. It animates as fast or slow as you flip pages. To create frame-by-frame -frame animation, open a new stage by going to File and selecting New. Now, select Text Tool and type the letter H. You can change the color, size, style and font from the properties window. Next, go to frame 5 and make it a keyframe by selecting insert keyframe option from right click menu or pressing F6 key. Write E. You can change the color, size, style and font from the properties window. Similarly, go to frame 10, press F6 key. Write L. Then go to frame 15, press F6 key, write L and go to frame 20, press F6 key and write O. Now press Enter key to play the movie animation. Tint tweening. Tint works on symbols and cannot be added to objects. It is used to change the color of a symbol while animating. Tint tween is applied only to the symbol. So if you have any object drawn on the stage and you want to use tint tween, convert that object to symbol and then apply tint tween. Let us try the tint tween. Select file menu and then new option. Go to insert and select new symbol. Create new symbol dialog box will appear. Click OK. Now select text tool and type my text. Then select the text by selection tool and right click it. Select convert to symbol option. Now from the properties select tint from the color from the drop down menu. Fill the values for RGB which ranges from 0 to 255 different colors. Enter 150, 0 and 150 for R, G and B respectively. Next, go to frame 20 and make it a keyframe by pressing F6 key. Now select the text by selection tool and move it to a new location. Change the color properties 255, 150 and 0. Go to frame 40 and make it a keyframe by pressing F6 key. Now select the text by selection tool and move it to a new location. Change the color properties 0, 255 and 255. Then right click on any frame between 1st and 20th frame and select create motion tween. Similarly, Right click on any frame between 20th and 40th frame and select create motion tween option. Finally, press enter key to play the movie. Simple text shape tween. The conversion of one shape text to another shape to create an animation is termed as text shape tweening. Let's see how this is done. Open a new stage by going to File menu and selecting New option. Select the text tool and write Flash. You can change the color, size, style and font from the properties window. Now select the text and right click on text and select Break apart option. The flash will be broken into individual characters. Select Break apart again. Now, Flash will get converted into graphics. 
right click on frame 1 and select create shape tween. Now select frame 30 and insert a keyframe. Type what a fun by selecting text tool slightly away from the text flash. Select what a fun by the selection tool and select break apart option. Similarly, break what a fun again into graphics by selecting break apart option again. You will observe that flash is also in the frame.